know, to the new year, I guess. Okay, yeah, I guess it is. It's... I kind of, it, the new year came along and I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, in, not gonna lie, it started bad. Oh? Well, you know, dearest Betty White. Oh, yeah, my, yeah. Yeah. Well, that... We love you, Betty. <laughs> mm. I um the thing mum said to me actually made me laugh like quite a lot. She goes, I think she wanted to make sure she went so that twenty twenty two was at least a little like it didn't it wasn't like marred by her death, basically. She goes out before the end of the year, so we, we all are as um I mean know. I just you know, like I just wrote it under uh, under Mark Hamill's tweet because uh, uh Bob Saget Bob died. Saget died. Yeah. And then before that in the party had died. Yeah, and then Cynthia O'Connor's I don't know how to say her name. I I'm so sorry. Uh, her son died as well, and I was like, this Sinead. Is the... Sinead, thank you. Uh, this it's is my the... middle name. Yeah, one of my middle names actually. Oh, oh, yeah, my name. The more, the more you know. <laughs> uh, and I was like, this is the first week of January. What the fuck? It feels a little. <laughs> it, we're getting. I'm, I'm getting early 2016 vibes again. I know. I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> think you know. Yes, 2022. Stop. Thank you. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's a new year. Uh, mm. It's our season three start. Let's call it that because, okay, you know, why not? <laughs> uh, and oh. and um, and uh, you know that there's gonna be some changes. I'm not gonna be done with them for this episode, but uh, bear with me. I I will I will get on it. We had a little meeting. Very official. <laughs> it ended in me showing Lily my entire bookshelf. It was yes. very professional. <laughs> it was very fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, you know, we, we are here now. Uh, you're gonna see shorter episodes. That's that's the plan. And and we're gonna be more up to date with uh, premieres. Like what we're talking about. <laughs> not not with all of them, but uh, a few. No. Sometimes we're going to keep going back to some stuff that maybe we're, we're particularly interested in. Yes. But we're going to try and talk more about things that are out yes. currently. Yes. That's that's the plan. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we try and, you know, and we are trying to do more interviews because we know you like those. Uh, and it's all and Lily likes them a lot. I, I love them. I also <laughs> like them, but Lily yeah, really yeah. likes them. There, there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have one big plan, which I, I didn't tell you about, but uh, I won't until it's it's something. Uh, okay. Uh, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I, I should know more in, yes, in February. Until then, it's a, We'll see. Okay. <laughs> situation. Uh, so yeah, but we're gonna keep one of my favorite things, uh, which is the introduction Wait. of the podcast. I was gonna say I should do that first before we go any. <laughs> and then and then comes and then the other bit. The other bit. <laughs> anyway, hi everyone. Sorry, my phone's buzzing at me because my friend's asked me. Oh. Uh, hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to all the films we judged before in 2022. I'm Katie. That over there is bright and happy, Lily K. Now that I Ow. rented, <laughs> I am now bright and happy. <laughs> I was fuming a few minutes ago. <laughs> but Katie listened and it was really nice. Uh, but anyway, yes, it is. But now, on to my uh, uh, favorite, one of my favorite things is, uh, Katie, what did you watch? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie Good to list. you. I, but, well, I, do, I do have one thing, but I, I, okay. I just explain that over Christmas, I didn't really watch a whole bunch of new stuff. I mean, I there was like I had thought about going to see The Matrix, but everything's really bad out there at the moment with the Omicron uh, variant and all that sort of stuff. I got boosted today. My arm's a little bit achy, but I'm doing good. Um, Put the ice 5G. on it. Put ice it's, on it. It's it's honestly not that bad. It's just a bit like it's it's gonna get bad. Like I was fine throughout the whole day, and at night I was like, huh. <laughs> yeah, it, it, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I just um, I thought about going to see the Matrix, but then there's all the stuff. I was like, I didn't end up doing that, and I haven't just haven't done a whole lot of watching new stuff. I, but I because I've been reading a bunch of books. I got a bunch of books for Christmas. Nice. Lily knows about this. I showed her all my books. Yes, I got more <laughs> books since we spoke. Oh God. <laughs> um, but so I've I've just been reading books. But for Christmas, I did get the box set for Psych which is a show oh, yes, I've been wanting did. to watch yes. for a while. And I have been slowly kind of picking my way through episodes because I've been reading more books than I have been watching anything because I want to try and read more books this year. I Apparently, um, this was not a conscious it's... decision, but I, I I asked for a bunch of books and went, I guess I'm reading more. Yeah, um, it's a good thing. Mm. Hmm. 
but it's like it's very fun uh it is know, it's like it's just it's very silly very silly yeah it is. <laughs> uh, i'm not very far into it yet though i finished season one um okay. and i've gotten a couple episodes into season two very much enjoyed tim curry turning up basically as simon carroll Cowell. um which was uh that that was fun but uh yeah like maybe a couple of episodes in season two i'll get back to it at some point i have um uh, i did watch uh tweet about this so if people are paying attention to a twitter account they'll see it but okay. one of my favorite um uh uh um, movie sort of account, uh, youtube accounts uh cinefix which oh, are also oh, yes. ign movies and t- television but it's cinefix yes. did uh, their top 10 of 2021 mm. uh, list, which had a bunch of stuff in it that I went, oh, that actually was really good. And so I may go and have like a poke through that and try to yeah, watch yeah, yeah. stuff that's in there because there's a nice. lot of good stuff that, that came out last year that I didn't pay. <laughs> I did bad. I did really badly at um, poorly. You know what that is? I did poorly <laughs> last year when it came to watching new things. I watched a lot of old stuff again. I didn't bad, really isn't? watch a whole lot of stuff that was new. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm being very boring, but you probably watched a bunch of stuff, so please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did watch a few things. I will say that uh, I will admit that I was wrong about The Matrix, actually, uh, because I was uh, in the camp that said that it's just going to be a poor remake and it's going to be awful. It was actually quite good. I really enjoyed it. So, you know, I was, I was very surprised by it. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch it in the cinema. I watched it on HBO Max. Uh, but uh, it was still a very good experience. And I was I was genuinely surprised by it. Like, uh, you know, it's, it was good. It was good. I, I, liked, I liked the undertones it had. And I was mm. like, hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and also, as I predicted it, um, Jonathan Groff is the best freaking thing. <laughs> I just, I was in love. I was like, oh, I love Jonathan Groff. Uh, so that was good. Uh, I take back what I said before about it. And uh, I watched uh, Don't Look Up, which got really bad reviews. Don't believe yeah, any of them. I don't know. Okay, here's the thing. I, because I wasn't hugely uh, sold on the trailer. Yes. But the actual, the impression I got was that most people that I saw liked it a lot. It's um, brilliant. I didn't realize that it had been. I, I, I hadn't looked it up to be honest. But like, um, uh, I, 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 the impression I got was that most people enjoyed it, and then were. But then I saw a bunch of people, like, talking about the naysayers as opposed to seeing the actual naysayers themselves. So I don't know what like the the Rotten Tomatoes thing was like or anything along those lines. R- Rotten was really bad. Was and, it? Yeah. It's like forty six percent or something like oh, that, and it's shit. it's just don't believe it. It's stupid. It's it's <laughs> it's very. It's actually. I'm 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 trying to find that tweet. Just give me one second. Um, I made wow. my uh, I made my dad watch it as well, who also mm. really loved it, and he's very hard to please. I'm not gonna lie. He's like, mm. uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, I can't talk today. I apologize. Um, Especially the podcast. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was tweeted by uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I hope I said his name properly. Uh, finally saw the Netflix film Don't Look Up, a fictional tale of a nation distracted by pop culture and divided on whether to heed uh, dire warnings of scientists. Everything I know about news cycles, talk shows, social media and politics tells me the film was instead... A documentary and i said yeah. amen because uh, it was so yeah neil degrasse tyson <laughs> is one of those people who uh i'm sure i mean he's a very smart guy he's... but he also refuses to to have any real fun with anything that isn't science <laughs> so it's like he comes along and he starts by being he he, he comes very literal and it's like dude shut the fuck up <laughs> uh, it's it, i don't know he's fine i guess I, I find him a bit annoying at times but like yeah that's that's a lot of the reaction that I, i've been have been seeing is that people were just like yeah it's very on point actually um <laughs> yep <laughs> and uh i saw uh it was one of my most liked comments ever uh because i think it was independent that wrote uh, an article about it like why is it okay to hate don't look up or something it was titled like that and I was like, I read the I read the article, and it's basically an excuse for critics why they can hate the movie. And I was like, you know, I've never seen a more accurate article that spits in self 
the face and proves the movie's exact point <laughs> just like this. And everyone went, yep. <laughs> and I got like, I don't even know, like 5,000 likes on it or something. I'm like, okay, <laughs> well done. Well done me. <laughs> but it's, it is. I, I, I fully believe that even if it was a bit uh, obviously over the top, some of the things that were I in have it. Seen, yeah. Yeah, still, yeah. I fully believe that in a situation like this, people will be stupid. I mean, this whole pandemic proves that. I've seen a lot of the, the reaction, um, uh, especially on Tumblr. I've seen a lot of posts being like, yeah, it's over the top. It's meant to be over the top. Have you guys watched satire before? <laughs> <laughs> indeed indeed it, there, it was a, it was a more nuanced thing about that in in him than it than that but um i i can't remember the specifics of it to be able to tell it to you right now but yeah that was the impression i got it's, i don't yeah. know i i'm sure it is very good it, it is as, it's um that kind of existentialism i guess isn't exactly what i'm in the mood for right now that's fair because <laughs> you know fair. <laughs> which i understand is probably a big part of the reason why the movie got made in the first place <laughs> but yeah you know you yeah. get it i get it i get it but uh watch it and uh, at one point it's really i'm sure it'll get, it, I'll get it, onto it. really really good uh but yeah i think those those are the two ones that were mentioning really uh well i will also say that i watched uh, the new harlan coben uh series stay close uh with so, Shad- the, the who no what now <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying names today properly. Ha- Harlan Coben? He's a writer. He wrote Safe. I don't. Uh, I'm not and... familiar. Oh, you're not. I'm, I'm uh, Harlan? Me. Harlan, yes. Harmon. Harlan. Harlan. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got to get that. <laughs> I got it. I got it. There you go. Uh, I watched uh, Safe previously and The Stranger, and now uh, this is the new one. Uh, stay close they are both they are all three of them are netflix originals and they are very good and i have some of the books as well here was the stranger the one that had um uh oh god damn it um jennifer saunders no Richard okay Armitage? so maybe it's not <laughs> i was what going to say books? anthony head it is there it is yes yes yes, yes. it is it, it. he was uh richard armitage's uh dad in it i believe if i remember correctly it was very good uh, all of them are very good. This one was very good as well. I, I seem to remember um, Anthony Hedge on the press tour for this last year. Yes. Yes, that's so, correct. Yes, 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 yes. There's that. They are very good. Uh, they are uh, murder mysteries, usually, or love some it. kind of detective things. And, you and know, I love a detective yeah, thing. <laughs> and it's all UK based, obviously. Very good. I love them. I, uh, very nice. And, and I really enjoyed the Stay Close as well. It was really good. Uh, and I I love the books as well. I I have them somewhere here somewhere in this book. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all. Uh, because we are trying to keep the podcast under fifty minutes. But that's, that's okay. Just let's... All, <laughs> feel like we're rushing it because that will just make everybody at home go. You know? uh, <laughs> Look, I watched a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know what this to be. <laughs> I watched nothing. I... Literally, I don't think I watched anything. Yeah. I, I, oof, we, we, well, I was sick, so you know, I had time to to mm. actually go and see things. Mm. Well, here, I mean, I didn't go anywhere. I was in my room and I was watching things. Yeah, no, just, just many books. So, if anybody wants a book recommendation, The Watchmaker of Filigree Street is really good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and its sequel, The Lost Feature of Pepper Harrow. Oh, nice. And then there's a short story. That's, we're not going to do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's, you know, we're going to have an episode that's only about books. Okay. Like we we could do an episode about books that we really like that we think should be adapted into stuff. Oh yes, I like that. Oh, new idea. We need mm. something for next week, so you know. <laughs> Why not? Uh, mm. Good idea. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I I have many books. Uh, I just got new ones from a very special someone. <laughs> Those books were meant <laughs> to be adapted into a thing, and then it fell apart, which makes me very uh, sad. Yeah. Because like even like they were Maggie was writing the script who wrote the books they're the Raven Cycle books for anybody who's curious you can find them on, on the Twitter with all the other things I bought her for Christmas slash birthday. <laughs> yes. Um, but they she they were meant to make a sci-fi series and Maggie was writing the pilot and then it just sort of didn't go anywhere from there and I think um because Maggie's not writing any more of the books in that universe she had a bunch of ideas but it like 
fandom basically kind of ruined the whole experience for her essentially oh, um like not in it's just in a way that like you know people have such intense opinions that she kind of felt like she didn't have a whole lot of ownership over wanting to be able to do something different with it anymore um so she's she's finishing off a trilogy that she's done like separate from these ones and is just sort of leaving the characters behind to do new things which is frankly very fair for her honestly um but i have a feeling that's probably part of the reason why it didn't um continue forward from where it had been which is a shame because he would make a really good series yeah i think that's why <laughs> that's what happened to the king killer chronicles uh and lin manuel miranda being involved in it like it's just died off. i think he's just busy i was those things i mean like... yes obviously but it i i didn't hear anything about it since it was yeah it's, so. it's it's you know development is a very it's they have to be really careful when they announce these things because sometimes they just don't go anywhere yeah. like it, it can see like trying to get people to sign on that series now i've read the first of those first two books very complicated to it adapt is. into anything especially with all the music that's in it mm-hmm. oh my god yeah that's why Lim was <laughs> attached i think i know but <laughs> i think he was yeah, i think i saw a tweet about him trying to write that song in it that's yeah. like se- like to several like verses long and has like the female part. That was meant to be like one of the greatest songs ever written. I was like, yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so since I can talk today properly, <laughs> and I am always uncomfortable with this word, do you want to tell what we're going to talk about? Do you have trouble with the word anticipated? Or? I, yes, I, we are not friends. <laughs> okay, well, we're talking about our most anticipated, I think, I'll say projects, just to encompass, Project, encompass yes. the whole thing okay. uh, of, of the year, because it's the new year and there's new things coming out. Um, so we're going to talk about some stuff. We, Lily and I wrote some things down. That was a, another yes. thing that we talked about on our, our little thing. <laughs> we're going to be more organized when we come in. <laughs> Instead of just turning up and be like, what the fuck are we talking about today? <laughs> Look, we, we are we are getting there, okay? <laughs> we don't need to cuss a year. I'm a professional. We're professionals. Uh, all right. Uh, should we go like backwards, like from whatever? I didn't. Number? I didn't list. I didn't number. Oh, them. you didn't. You didn't number them. Okay. I didn't number them. I just kind of wrote them down, honestly. Um, oh. uh, then go with whatever you like. At first. Um, okay. Well, let's go with the. Mm-hmm. Let's go with one of the more obvious things. Obviously, I think the thing the. I'll put it this way. The most sort of superhero thing that I'm most anticipated for this year is the Batman. You got a lot of cash. Never think about straight. Oh, As in Matt Reeves' Batman movie. Okay. I'm very excited about it. Empire did a whole piece on it um, this month uh, about, um, you know, interviews and all that sort of stuff. Big, big couple page spread about it. And it, it just feels like exactly my kind of film. Because it's like, yes, it's a Batman film, but they're really going hard on the greatest, the world's greatest detective stuff. Mm. So it's like it's and their their version of the Riddler's kind of more like the Zodiac Killer, yes. And it's like, oh, this feels just so much like my jam. <laughs> and the trailer that came out, I kind of went, yeah, yeah, I'm in, I'm into this. I like the vibe. It feels like kind of a noir crime detective story. Mm. I'm like, yeah, I'm sold. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, this, and you know, people who listen to us know this that uh, Matt Reeves directed one of my all-time favorite trilogies, which is the New Planet of the Apes. Uh, so I, I, I'm still gonna say that I do have all the faith in him. Mm. I'm still a bit unsure with Robert Pattinson, even though we I have still, established that. I'm, the... I'm so like excited <laughs> about. <laughs> I like the vibe. It's all good. Yeah. I like if you, if you, if you, the the article is worth a read. I reckon there's parts of it at least online, so you might be able to look it up. Mm. But they the idea is that it's like not the sort of year one stuff, but more like yeah, year yeah. two mm. is what they've been referring to it as. And I'm like, that's very fun and yeah. interesting to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. There's like this guy who's like he's been doing this for a year now, but like there's still stuff he's learning. We've got like we're basically getting like a Selena Kyle Catwoman like origin story within this film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, Colin Farrell will be coming back for a Penguin series because he's not like quite he's not the Penguin so much in this yet, but he is, you know. Oh really? Kind of, he, I mean, he's he's oh. kind of building into like the Penguin that we kind of know. Mm. Um, I mean, he, he looks. He oh. doesn't look like himself. Oh my god! He looks entirely different. I'm like, who I, the fuck is this guy? Yeah, I know. I was like, that's Colin Farrell. <laughs> I know it's fuck? crazy. <laughs> We know I love Colin Farrell. I love Colin Farrell as well. Like, come on. 
He's great. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, yeah, the whole thing, I'm very excited about Paul Dano going to be the Riddler. Hopefully the Riddler that doesn't annoy the shit out of me and tell me every five minutes that he's smarter than me and make me want to hit him in the face because he's hidden 200 um, goddamn Riddler trophies around Gotham. <laughs> I don't like the Arkham version of the Riddler. Fine, that's a fair He's point. so annoying. He is. He is very annoying. Okay. Yeah, good choice, good choice. Uh, I am obviously excited for the Batman, although I'm I'm still You're reticent. I, yeah. I think you, you said you were a little bit reticent about it, which I think is fair. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, it's it's. I'm going to say this. It's going to be hard to convince me because I love Christopher Nolan's Batman so much. Uh, <laughs> so, you know. I, I don't, I, here's the thing. I don't have that as much stake in Christopher Nolan's Batman. So there you go. I do love them. I think they're incredible movies, but I'm not the Christopher Nolan fan that you are. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, okay, so we're not doing numbers. We're just going. Okay. Uh, Unless uh, you you can do numbers, I just don't. Nah. I just don't have anything like. I'm I'm, I'm, hmm. I'm gonna say then. Uh, I have four movies and two TV shows, by the way. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm gonna say one of the TV shows. Okay. Why not? Uh, so I'm gonna say that uh, one of the TV shows I am very very excited about, and uh, for all we know, it is coming out this year. Is Kenobi. There's a hunger for this character to come back. The fans have been waiting long enough, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Because he was always one of my favorite Star Wars characters, uh, and uh, the fact that you and McGregor is coming back I was is say, just everybody loves Neil McGregor. Yeah, so that's kind of a selling it's, point. You know, it's it's already a win. Like, uh, you know, obviously they're keeping everything very very secret and whatnot. But uh, if if you are a part of the fandom and um, and read a lot about Kenobi, like there are some things that you can kind of figure out like what it's gonna be about and we know that you know hayden is coming back it's it's, it's like oh uh, and apparently i don't know if it is for this one or the ahsoka series but they're gonna have flashbacks for the clone wars but i think it's this one mm -hmm. and uh, you know i love the clone Wars series i think it's brilliant and if we can actually see it like in live action even the three of them together like it was in the show i'm i'm just gonna faint i think i'm just gonna be like well pff, done <laughs> there's there's uh i think I, I think you tweeted this actually um but yes. there's there's rumors about liam neeson potentially yeah. coming back as qui-gon yeah. which would be interesting <laughs> it, it would be very i mean look he can come back as a force ghost mm -hmm. So, you know, he I sure can. He, he sure can. And, you know, he, he said it many times that he really liked the character and, and he really likes the whole universe and everything. He actually came back. He was one of the few people who came back to voice the character in Clone Wars. So, oh, okay. so you know, I I think it, it is possible and, and a why not situation at the end of the day. Uh, it would be very, very good surprise, that's for sure, uh, if they want to keep it like that or maybe they can announce it, who knows. Uh, but the other big thing would be if, if they would bring in uh, Darth Maul, uh, but only with Sam Witwer's voice, like, <laughs> you know, or even him playing him. I don't even mind that, like, you know, just in some form because... Uh, it was so good in Clone Wars and in, in Rebels and everything. And I was like, ah, I need to see him in live action. Bit you Americans <laughs> can all be. So, yeah, that, I, I honestly can't wait uh, to watch that. And obviously, The Mandalorian is coming back this year as well. So, oh, yes, that's uh, true too. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, look, we've been eating very well, less <laughs> Marvel fans and, and all that. Uh, I was missing the Star Wars stuff a little bit, even though we started the book of Boba Fett in, in last year, basically. Uh, but uh, this year is for the Star Wars fans as well. And, you know, I'm bored, so I have Han Solo here. I have Captain here, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm going to have a great year. <laughs> yes. What's your mm -hmm. next one? Right. Hmm. Well, which one do I want to go for next? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, let's just go for because I, I put this on here for a reason. Yeah. I didn't just pick this at, at random. Season three of the Umbrella Academy will be this year. I'm yes. fucking thrilled. <laughs> I can bet I'm you are. So excited. Because <laughs> I, 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 I'm I, after the first season came out. We already know that I'm a very big fan of this series, anyway. Yeah. But after the first season came out, I read all the graphic novels, and then after uh, Hotel Oblivion came out, I read Hotel Oblivion. Mm. So after season three, or season two ended, it was kind of like, are they going to do <laughs> Hotel Oblivion? Which 
for people who may who haven't read the uh, comics, is about a prison on the moon where all of the bad guys that the Umbrella Academy fights goes. And it seems exactly that's what they're doing. <laughs> Because they've nice. been doing a lot of like they've been they've been suggesting that there's that there's like a little hotel bell, um, you know, concierge bell, uh, in all the sort of the um, artwork, artwork, what the promotional material. That's the mm. word I'm looking for. Words, phrase. Nice. Not not today. It's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, so that that there's yes. Yeah, so we're going to be getting Hotel Oblivion, but we're going to obviously not. We're not getting it in the same way as the comics because the comics in the show have diverged in in different ways but they're both still very interesting and like they make sense it's one of the like few adaptions that i look at and i'm like all of these decisions make perfect sense for the medium that you're doing it in um we've been introduced to the sparrow academy which is also they actually gets introduced at the end of of hotel oblivion like right at the end mm. and it's introduced in a slightly different way to the way it is in, in the show but they've been re releasing all of the sort of um posters for the sparrow academy and as much as the, the we, we I've I've said this many times. Anybody who looks at my Twitter knows this. These are my kids. <laughs> I love them very dearly. <laughs> However, the Sparrow Academy has a cube called Christopher, and I would die for him. <laughs> oh my god! He's just a cube. <laughs> I just, oh man, it's such this show is so silly, and I love it very very dearly. I'm just very excited at the concept of what's going to happen. We've got mm. Ben. Oh man. You already have to get on it so I can talk about it properly. <laughs> <laughs> I, and you I, can know exactly what I am talking about. <laughs> I I will I will get around to it, I promise. I, you know this, that I unfortunately had a bad experience with it, which was that when I started watching season one, that's when I had one of my worst uh, emergencies that made me go to the hospital. Right. Uh, so it's it's like... Oh, <laughs> I'm, I have this... the two things are not linked. To I know, I know, it's not in it's, your brain. It's it's it's, it's this guy mm -hmm. up here that, that's that's an asshole about it. So I'm like, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a bit afraid to go back because I have this weird fear that what if I start watching it again and it happens again, which I know it's impossible. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just have to get over my brain. Basically, you, just, you gotta you just gotta step in front of it and go if 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 things if I stop, you know it will be psychosomatic because my brain will be anticipating something yes. and you breathe through it and you keep i burped i'm sorry um, <laughs> and you keep going <laughs> god it's so goddamn good i uh, i will get because i i like what i saw so you know you know i i definitely <laughs> want to see all. it <laughs> i'm really really excited to see what happens with vanya considering uh, like in between seasons two and three uh, elliot page um oh, yeah, came yeah, out yeah. As, as as a trans person and yeah. and has been transitioning since then he got top surgery and has been looking fucking ripped i don't mm, i was like Gosh. damn <laughs> um, but i'm really excited to see how that translates to vanya i don't know if that if vanya is going to be anywhere if vanya is going to go through some kind of gender change uh in in the show or what have you but i'm very excited to see what they decide to do with that yeah because yeah, yeah. i reckon it'll be very much dictated by elliot um because uh, they have everything that the show has been doing a lot of stuff with Vanya that has feels like it's been kind of a direct response to the way that Elliot has been, you know, playing her. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's very exciting. And then I just want to see class again. Well, all of them, but like, <laughs> it's like I have no favorites, but also class. <laughs> <laughs> and Diego. I will see who, because I, I don't know. If he, I've, I've told you, I've got two playlist for both of the seasons of the umbrella academy yeah but they're slightly, slightly named after after <laughs> so i've got um time to protect class with my life that's the first season and then diego deserves the world oh god sweet boy <laughs> anyway right <laughs> obsession is in it's i miss sports. my kids <laughs> i feel like hyper fix fixation is coming in again <laughs> Uh, always, I love these. Always. I, 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 I love these guys. I know it's okay. It's good. It's good. I'm I'm gonna get around and watch it this year. I actually put it on my on my list to watch. So, you know, it's it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, all right. I will just stick to my uh, the last TV show. Basically, last. I'm so excited for so many, but uh, I had to. I I I picked these two because I am very much looking forward to them. So I will choose my returning one as well, which is the boys. 
season two. Oh, yes. I think we're both excited. Uh, I didn't put that on because I thought you might put that on. Yes. But I was, I was thinking about it. <laughs> um, it's not just the fact that they are returning because that's fucking awesome by itself. Uh, it's the fact that, first of all, Jensen Eccles is coming in. Very exciting. Uh, to, to play Soldier Boy, and I just cannot wait, uh, you know, what, what he's going to do with the role, because I, I think he's a very good choice for <laughs> that character. So I'm like, We're all very excited. <laughs> very excited. Uh, but uh, I'm guessing that based on the events of season two, Homelander is going to be even more oh, crazy. I, so my, me, <laughs> myself and, and Charlotte were talking about this the other day, my best friend Charlotte. We basically watched that teaser and we just went, oh, he's going to kill everybody. Oh, yes. <laughs> he's going to lose it. He's, he's going to lose it. That te- uh, teaser was like one, the like best thing I watched. I was like holding on on a knife's edge. is gonna snap any minute yeah it's gonna happen this season it's gonna mm-hmm. i'm telling you it's gonna happen this season and it's gonna be bloody and glorious <laughs> so, i mean look that was that scene in season two where he imagines killing everyone i was it, like that's just gonna happen it's, it's just gonna happen yeah at, at this point look he's been through a lot you know like in 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 his mind this was <laughs> So I honestly all of which was his fault, but let's yes, think. but you know it's a small detail. <laughs> I honestly I think Anthony Starr is so fucking good as Homelander. It, there is something incredibly brilliant about that, just that push in of him like smiling and he just the, the deadness behind his eyes oh, and it's God. just like it's the fakest thing you've ever seen in your life and it's like, oh yep. boy, yep, yep, just. <laughs> Just brilliant. And obviously, I can't wait to see my boy, Mr. Carl Urban. So, you know. I... Did you see the other teaser with um, uh, Huey talking to, to Vol- News? I thought that was very funny. <laughs> I was sitting there going, oh, it's too real. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and you know, there are some very much unsolved mysteries at the end of season two. So, Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna. Be, I can't. I honestly can't wait. I just need that madness back into my life that they are bring with themselves. In that. Yep. But again, they're doing it again. They're doing it again. Yeah. I I fucking hate it. Like they're gonna first three episodes is gonna come out together yeah, and, and then, then they're they're doing they weekly. weekly. And I was like, like, are you serious? Just bye. Like do one or the bye. other. Please don't do both. <laughs> just. I wouldn't even mind watching it once. You know, once a week. I wouldn't mind that. But this, yeah, then you're going to give me three and then, ha ha, fucker, just wait <laughs> from now on. And I'm like, ha, 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 you Please. motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Homelander on you and you're not going to like that. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, All right. It's okay. There you go. Yeah. Shall I go on for the next one? Yeah. Um, uh, I, I have two TV shows, but I'm going to leave them for a minute. And go okay. back to the movies okay. and say that this this one's my, one of my more interesting ones. Okay, uh, it's a movie called The Outfit. You know exactly what it is that we do. I have mentioned it before. Um, okay. It's got it, yes, but it, it, you'll understand what, what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay. It's called The Outfit. It's out in February. It's got Mark Rylance in it, but it's also got Dylan O'Brien in it. Oh yes, yes, yes. So it's of it's, course, it's yes. Mark Rylance plays a tailor uh, who he's who like moves to Chicago and like basically mobsters use his 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 tailor shop as like a a, a drop off point. Yes. And there's a, just a night where sort of a bunch of people all call, come for one thing, and it seems like a very just sort of like tense. Um, thriller kind of mm. you know crime drama thing and it, i watched the trailer again because i was like maybe this wasn't as good as i thought it did no it looks really fucking good i'm very excited about it and it's mark Rylance and dylan o'brien so it's already yeah. a win yeah it just looks really fucking cool i like the the vibe of it i reckon it's just gonna be i'd like i don't know if it's gonna be like you know the best film of the year or anything like that but i just i think <laughs> like a lot of fun um something tense you know nice um I just, it looks like Dylan's going to be, you know, being 
incredible as he usually is. And I just also like the pun of the title because he's a tailor, so it's called the outfit. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. And that's why I was like, for a second, I was like, what? <laughs> he's a tailor, but it's like the outfit is like a crime thing. Is it's, it's it's good. It's a good title. It's a good title. <laughs> it's a good one. I would recommend giving the trailer a little look see because I think it looks very interesting. And I think I shall try and make an effort. I don't know how it's it's a focus feature, focus films, focus feature. I can't remember the name of the company now. Um, uh, but it's a British, it's a British company, I believe. So it might, I don't know how wide the release is going to be. But I, I was looking when, I, when we were making when I was making this little list. I was trying to find some more stuff that wasn't just like the really big blockbusters. But there's not a whole. You don't get a sense of like what the interesting movies are going to be at this point in the year. Mm. Like the release of the just sort of like you know the film films. You know the film films. <laughs> the filmy films. You know the ones <laughs> that are, as pretentious people I like to go and talk about uh, ad nauseum. Um, so I, I I'm looking forward to finding that's the I guess that's the other side of the anticipated list. I'm looking forward to the stuff I don't know about. I know this is not the end of the, the video yet, but like that's that's the other side of this. But anyway, the outfit I recommend given that trailer or watch it. It looks really interesting. Okay, fine. Uh, I literally changed my list after you said that you're not gonna go with the t too much of you, you're gonna you know you can do what you like i'm just doing what i'm doing <laughs> uh, i mean i'm not saying i don't have some blockbuster stuff on here i've got I've... i do have like i'm I'm just changing one thing uh, mm. from the end basically uh and it's it's because i uh, ryan reynolds just tweeted about it and and i realized that oh fuck this is coming out this year it's the it's, adam project yeah he's um he's his fourth movie that he's ever produced Yes, and uh, it it's, it's, it's going to star uh, uh, my other, one of my other favorite people, Zoe Saldana as well, uh, which I'm very excited for. But, uh, you know, Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer Garner, uh, Brian, obviously, is going to be in it. And uh, he's he's going to work uh, with Sean uh, Levy, who is uh, the also the director of Free Guy. Um, so it's coming out uh, to Netflix in March. And uh, as soon as he tweeted about it, I was like, oh, shit, yes, yes, yes. I was so excited for this film because literally the only thing uh, that I read about it and I was already like, yep, sold, I'm in, is um, a man must travel back in time to get help from his 13-year-old self. And I... That's, yeah, that is a, that's a very, like, I have come up with a log line. <laughs> And I was like, that's such a like, I have sold this movie on this line. Yes. Sort of line. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm on board. I, yes, I will watch it <laughs> 100%. So, yeah, and, and I'm not going to lie, I am low key happy that it's coming on Netflix uh, because I just, you know, uh, I, I don't know why. I just, I became a um, little whole self <laughs> i like to i i know i've been feeling that too since yeah. kind of since christmas i was just like i mean we messaged each other and like hey are you like i'm sick and i was like i'm feeling really introverted i don't want to talk to anybody <laughs> and we went should we just go back to not talking yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> look sometimes you need that okay <laughs> so yeah the adam project it's coming yeah. in march sounds, that sounds very good okay yeah. um I have on here. Yes. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll keep going with the movies uh, okay. and say uh, I'm I'm quite looking forward at least to seeing what it's about. Jordan Peele's Nope. Yes. Because <laughs> I it's like, we've just had a poster and yep. I'm like, stop. Oh, I'll watch that. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's Jordan Peele. <laughs> it's already. It's like, I I still haven't seen Us. I have it and I need to watch it. Oh my god. Watch but I, and I really feel like it's gonna. I I think I like it a lot. But obviously, I I like you know fucking everybody love really love Get Out. Mm. Um and uh, he's Jordan Peele's kind of been killing it in the in the horror scene. Um so and just the fact that he was like, here's a poster. I'm not telling you anything else. Yeah. And he was like, sure. <laughs> 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 and Steve Noon is gonna be in it, who I love. I, I think love he's Steven. great. He um Steven. reminds me, I really need to watch Minari at some point. <laughs> You still haven't seen Minari? I haven't. I, oh, I haven't watched damn. anything. Lily, I haven't watched anything. I haven't watched anything oh, last year. <laughs> That's not true. I went to the cinema more last year than I have in 
like ever and yet i still have them. <laughs> That's why I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so I may, I honestly, it several times was like, I will go to the cinema to see Minari, and it just kept like falling to the wayside. I didn't start, I just haven't seen Dune. Like, this is this is where I'm at right now. <laughs> no, I'm missing out on too much with that. I'm mm. not going to lie. I was a bit disappointed with that movie. Mm, uh, interesting. You're the only person I've heard. I, I, um, my, my other best friend, Arthur, was like raving about it. He doesn't do that very often with, with, with films. Like, he's got a very specific taste in stuff he's very much like a i mean he's studying literature he's doing the masters currently yeah <laughs> loves victorian literature and all that sort of stuff um so he came out and was I, I, sci-fi is not really what i subscribe to him as being his thing but he was like thrilled about it like yeah. absolutely adored it so i mean I'll, I'll i i i have no qualms about watching it on our massive tv downstairs <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think I'll get a fairly if I watch it late enough at night and, and I reckon I'll get a, a decent enough experience out of it because we've got a good start. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be fine. It should... I watched it at home as well, so yeah, mm. it, was, it was fine. Uh, and I love the books, and it is, yes, very close to the books. Uh, but still, something was a bit off for me. I don't know. I can't explain, but it was like a bit like, eh. <laughs> Maybe it's because you didn't see it in the cinema. I'm not going to lie, on people who hate saw uh, Red Maybe. Um, People were like, this is a movie to see in the cinema. And I was like, nah. <laughs> no, honestly, it just missed me. I, yeah. I, I had every intention it and it just kind of fell, fell to the wayside. But yeah, nope. It just, nope. it's there. Yeah. Got more Daniel Kaluuya, who I will always adore. Oh, um, yes. We love him as well. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very excited. Fair. Uh, all right. I will say that I had to think about the next choice because uh, I am very excited for Thor. Uh, because uh, obviously the Guardians are going to be in it, and it's I love the Guardians. Those... Uh, I don't actually know what Marvel movies are actually coming out this year because everything got pushed back several months. And that's so I'm fair. just sort of like, I guess I'll see you when things come out. <laughs> uh, these are the comfort rooms for this year, so you know. Uh, but uh, I have to go with Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I made mistakes, and people were hurt. I'm not here to talk about Westview. Then what are you here for? I need your help. Uh, simply uh, because of two things. First of all, it is uh, linking back, not just to Wonder Vision, obviously with Wonder coming on the show, but to What If as well, mm. uh, which is very exciting to see uh, at the end of Spider-Man. I cannot spoil that <laughs> because it was one of the end credits in uh, the trailer. I mean, it's out now. The, the it's, out now. Out. It's, it's out now. So it's <laughs> it's fine. But, you know, if, if you were Spider-Man No Way Home, that's where you've seen it first. Um, and, uh, and you know, uh, they are bringing in the dark version of, of Doctor Strange, uh, which is very exciting. I don't. <laughs> it's the funny thing, because like, I've, like, I've, I still haven't watched the first Doctor Strange movie, but with the, what I've seen of Doctor Strange in Spider-Man, I'm like, how much talking can he fucking get? <laughs> He's a very egotistical man. It, it, he can. He can. He's, he's, he's becoming very good at the end of Doctor Strange, so yeah. You should just watch no. it, finally. Please I mean, I, mean I will. I will. I'm going to watch it. I just, I'm, my feelings toward Doctor Strange after his, his, his behaviour in, in Spider-Man are a bit like, What are you talking about? He's cool. He's fun. I loved him in Spider Man. I, I mean, I liked him as a character. He did not make any very good decisions. Oh yeah, that happens with him a lot. So, you know. That's that's my point. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. But uh, yeah, I am I am very excited to see what they're gonna do with it. And obviously, they are introducing uh, America Chavez, uh, and. Uh, yeah, that's that's going to be also very exciting. There are also rumors of, of other Marvel characters appearing in there, uh, which you shouldn't believe, by the way. <laughs> and, no, never uh, do. N- never just, do. Just, just go into it. Like, just, look, I feel like with any movie, just go into just, a fucking blind. I, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I have to go with that. Although I think it goes without saying that everything Marvel just excites me very much. So, so. But if Sorry, I had I just, to choose one, then it's Doctor Strange. I suddenly had another thought about another thing, so I'm just going to quickly add it to my <laughs> Oh, God. We don't have to talk about it in detail. I just want to mention it. Actually, okay, I could just mention fine. it now, now, to be honest. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to the Witcher Blood Origins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, cause that, that'll be out this year. Cause I was sitting there going like, well, I can't talk about the Witcher season three cause that's not going to be finished this year. And I went, hang on a second. There is a Witcher thing coming out this yeah. year and it is blood origins. And it looks very, very exciting. That one looks, yes. That one looks something that I Michelle want to Yow. see as well. Holy yes. shit. Yep. Oh, I love. That they already got me with that one. I'm not going to lie. I was like, yeah. I, I'm really interested in, in all of the stuff when it comes to like the, the convergence and all that stuff because they're really kind of they're leaning into that stuff a lot now in the in the main series mm. there's a lot of like talk about how, how the convergence actually works and how much of it was actually a convergence and all that sort of stuff mm. um so i'm very excited to see because it's like this was this is all brand new stuff wasn't in the books they're like making a whole load of shit up yeah um so it's like ooh, yes mm. let's do this. but that's that's just a small one okay fair what's um, your next one then uh I go for yeah. We'll just I'll I'll stick to the movies and I'll do the the, TV, the last two TV shows in a minute. Mission Impossible Seven. Oh. <laughs> I love the Mission Impossible <laughs> movies. I'm very oh. excited for more. Oh. I'm just these these are my these are my like proper blockbustery things. I'm like yes, let's do another Mission Impossible. Let's go. I just they're fun movies. I like they're well made. Christopher McQuarrie has been doing such a great job with them since Rogue Nation, which I stand by is a fucking brilliant movie and is the best Mission Impossible movie. Which one is that? Which, I don't remember. It's the fifth one. Um with uh um uh, uh I, I, I honestly only think of it by there's like um a scene at the end of it that uses like like all the sound goes out and I just remember it was like one of the most incredible pieces like moments I have had ever had in a cinema. Where it's like um, it was the introduction of the syndicate, um, and, uh, it, it, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, all this sort of stuff. But there's like it's just this sequence at the end where they're like um, Benji's like tied up to a bomb, and it seems like everything's about to go off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then there's this moment where like all the sound goes out and like fully, and it's only like maybe a, like two seconds of worth of like perfect silence. Mm. But I was in the cinema for it, and the entire room was still, and I just I went. <laughs> it was just the most incredible thing and i did those movies are just fun i know you know tom cruise meh. i just think that the action in these movies is great like that's true. They, they, they they film the most incredible sequences because and they're all like done like yeah. they, 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 that is part of the enjoyment of those mission impossible movies is that you're kind of hitting the going like they really did that yeah um Fair. i should watch fallout again i haven't seen that since in the cinema I don't know. The first, like, like the first few Mission Impossible's are fine, but the moment they brought Simon Pegg in, and then they I mean, in, during like, and then Mission Impossible came along, and they made him like a main character, yeah. and they basically put humor into it. Yeah, that's the thing that really I was mm. like, that's what we wanted. That's that. That's the thing that this show, this series, like needed in yeah, yeah, yeah. in in its bones. Because like the first ones are really quite serious. Yeah, yeah. in a way that's a bit sort of like, mm. sure, the first <laughs> one's <laughs> iconic, but like four through, yeah. To, to this one I'm, I'm just i'm very excited about it. okay all right all right uh i'm gonna go i'm at, at from this point forward i'm just not gonna surprise anyone and and i'm gonna say that avatar 2 is coming on and i am very much excited and this one is gonna be my birthday gift because it's coming out on the 16th and my birthday is on the 14th so i take in I'm very excited. I love Avatar. I don't believe that it's dead. It's not dead. I think James Cameron, once again, will show something completely I'm, new to the world. I'm I mean, sure it's going to be something, at least. It, mm. I just, it is one of those things that, at this point, I'm so like, <laughs> they're still doing this? It's like, I don't, the idea of a sequel doesn't, like, put me off at all. I'm like, sure, do another one. These are things that I, I work with. It's the fact that he came out with, I'm making five more, and it's like, okay, calm down. <laughs> No, don't calm down. Do it. Start with, start with one, and we'll see how we go from there. No, just do it. Okay. <laughs> they film everything James. back to back. I was like, mm, mm, mm. look, I love the first film. I'm, I'm gonna stand by it forever. Uh, I haven't seen it since I saw it in the cinema, and that was. I've seen. I've seen it in, years ago. <laughs> I've seen it in the cinema thirteen times. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not joking. I I was obsessed with it. I have all the books on it. Uh, I read everything about it. Uh, I even started learning the language, the Navi language. 
so you know i i am still to this day okay. very much in love with it i have it in three different uh editions uh one of them is the extended con obviously so you know i am very much looking forward to go back to pandora and okay see what's happening and uh, <laughs> have fun <laughs> i i will i definitely will and uh they are uh well i don't know how they're gonna do it but uh, uh sigourney weaver is coming back which is always just a joy for me that room I know that it's the guy has like he doesn't he can't feel it's Jake? Jake. Is that his name? Jake Sully, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um I only the I, the only reason I have that in my head is because um there's a YouTuber I watch called Jack's Films who did like a like an on the street thing where he was trying to prove that nobody could remember anything about Avatar. But he was like, you know, who's the main character in who's who's the um, you know, name somebody from Star Wars, name somebody from um any Marvel movie. And, and then he goes, name the main character from Avatar, and everybody went Jake Sully, I would have. Yeah, and there. only one, only one person knew his name off the top of their head, um, but it was like that made me laugh. But my point is, it, it's like I remember they, he's, he's, he, he um, you know, wheelchair bound, mm. and then they put him in the thing, and then he meets Zoe Saldana, and there's something to do with unobtainium. That's about the extent of my remembrance when it comes to <laughs> Avatar, and I'm like, I think there's like some stuff about colonialism in there. You really should watch it again. It's magic. It's always been magic. I, I don't remember it being. I remember. I remember enjoying it. Is the thing. I don't. I. I don't. I'm not discounting it at all. I just haven't. It's like the plot did not stay in my brain at, at all. I, I, I watched it so many times that I can just tell you <laughs> on, on the spot. Like, Let's not do that right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's go for your next one then. Okay. Um. Oh, my next two are very interesting. I'm gonna leave the last one to last because that one's a very me thing. But this one will be interesting to you as well. Um, the Midnight Club. Oh. Which is Mike Flanagan's next series that's going to be on Netflix this year at some point. And since um, joining the Mike Flanagan Club, <laughs> and, um, fan great. club, yeah. um, I mean, it just seems like it seems like a really. I'm really interested in whatever it's gonna. I it just looks really interesting. Mm -hmm. And he just makes good stuff. And I like his monologues, even if some people don't. I love his monologues. I can't remember the who is in the cast off the top of my head. Now, hang on, I'm going to look this up. Um, but I I want to say that our friend Riley's going to be back, but I don't know if that's true. I think he is. Is he? Mm, um, well, I might, because my, my thought, my worry is that I'm mixing it up with... No, 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 Zach Guilford. Yep, I was right. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Because I knew, because I knew he did that long thread about all the people who's going to be in his Edgar Allan Poe adaptation yes, which that they're filming wait. this year. Yeah. Which is, I would have mentioned that, but it's like that's not going to be out this year. That'll exactly. be out next year. Yeah, yeah. Um, that fucking cast is insane. Oh, Mark Hamill when Mark Hamill up I was like, ah, <laughs> so insane. <laughs> but like this, it, even just this, it's like, um. Um, this this it looks really, amazing yeah it sounds really good yeah. um I'm, I'm just i'm just like yeah sure let's do it i'm, yeah. I'm in i'm in now look it's my fun again so i'm gonna watch it that's for sure that's end of the day deal whatever i can't speak uh very good choice very yeah. good choice well done uh i'm gonna be very generic <laughs> and pretentious go ahead <laughs> and i will say that my most anticipated film of this year is Jurassic World Dominion. What's it? Which... I keep forgetting them coming out this year. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah! <laughs> they keep releasing photos from it, uh, which I love. Uh, they released the prologue, which was uh, uh, which you were able to watch in IMAX in front of one of the movies. I don't know which one, but it was like a whole event. And now they finally released it in, in on on YouTube. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, I love Camp Cretaceous, which is you know now the canon uh, thing at this point, uh, apparently. And and it looks like that they're gonna bring in a lot of stuff. Uh, from that series from Netflix, by the way, um, in into the movie as well, and it's dinos, and the biggest thing, the biggest fucking thing, is my beloved trio is coming back for this one, which is Ian Malcolm, uh, who's uh, played by the wonderful Jeff Goldblum, uh, Alan Grant, who's played by the amazing Sam Neill, and uh, uh, and of course uh, Laura Dern. <laughs> 
is playing Eddie Sadler and and I'm just I'm thrilled. I'm just I'm I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't I'm aware wait to that watch we, it. we need to wrap this up very soon. But yes. I, I feel like I've not asked you this question before and I, I, I feel the need to. Were you a were you a dinosaur kid? Yes. This explains so much. <laughs> I think I still am. <laughs> Just I never left it. Yeah, no, but they, I think that's the sort of like, you know, those, those sorts of things very much stay with you. I just wasn't like in any way, shape or form. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I, I don't know. It's just, you know, a lot, a lot of times people ask me like, why do you like Jurassic Park and Word at this point so much? And I'm like, it's dinos. Dinosaur. Yeah. I, I don't need look I feel like that's the answer to like anybody who like that's uh, that's the selling point of the series it's yeah, got yeah, dinosaurs yeah. in it yeah and and you know I I know they are not like masterpieces although the first one is uh, uh definitely uh on the list but um but you know it's it's magic that like if if I have to point that uh, a pure cinematic magic that's Jurassic Park and the Jurassic uh because I will always no matter what happens as soon as I uh, sit in uh, in a cinema and watch anything Jurassic related, I'm back to a five year old kid. Valid. Yeah. So yeah, I cannot wait. June cannot come soon enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Your turn. Do you have any more, or is that the last I have one? an honorable mention, and that's okay. it. Okay. Do you want to do that one? Because I only have one more, and I want to talk about it properly. Okay. Like... Uh, my honorable mention is Prey, which is going to be uh, uh, um... Prey. Prey, yes, it's it's as in like to pray or as in I am pray. I am pray. Twenty twenty one film. Hmm. Yes, Netflix. it's it's gonna be a pre. Uh, pre, pre it was uh, a German movie. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, I said it wrong. Then it's it's like pray, like animal pray. Yeah, no, I got it. Oh, this this one that came out last year. Hang on, twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Not Netflix. The, the pray, like. Oh, I got it. Yeah. It's a, oh, it's a predator movie. thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Look, it's it, it, it's predator is in the alien universe basically. So, uh, I I loved the first predator film and I love uh, predators, which was uh, directed by a Hungarian director actually, uh, Anton Nimrod, uh, and uh, this looks very promising. And the last predator film was fucking bullshit. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> So I hope they won't mess this up because this can actually turn into something very great. Uh, yeah, I love the poster oh. so far because that's the only thing we got and it looks awesome. <laughs> I would just oh, it's because it that's it's got um, Amber Midhunter in it as well, who I I yeah. like a lot because she was in Legion, yes, um, and is currently in the Roswell uh, New Mexico series that's on, uh, which my mom watches and, and likes a lot. But I like Amber Midhunter a lot. Um, okay. Plus, um, it, it, I'm, if I'm right, she's the main character, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Native American main yeah, character yeah, is very, yeah, very yeah. cool. Yeah, um, very cool. Uh, yeah, okay. Shall I? Yeah, yeah. My, 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 I'm talking about this one just because it comes out in, oh God, it's only in a couple of weeks. That's very exciting. Ooh. The animated series, The Legend of Vox Machina, will be out on Amazon Prime on, on January 28th. <laughs> oh, wow. I should I'm have known. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> I'm hoping so uh, because I am one of the many many uh, backers to the Kickstarter. I should be getting the first two episodes before everybody else. Nice. Um, because that was that was the initial. Though actually, it was meant to be one, maybe one episode. I don't remember exactly what they've decided on at this point, but I'm very excited because yes. it's a, it's going to be my way of being like, here's this thing I've been like talking about for the past like six, <laughs> seven years, and like nobody wants to watch because it's so many hours long. <laughs> like here it is in a digestible little. <laughs> But even in episodes, it was all voiced by them, and I'm really excited to see who they've gotten to be so much of the rest of the cast because obviously mm. everybody's playing their characters, and then Matt's playing a couple of different people. I'm not into. I think he's he's definitely playing more Bri Briarwood. That's what that's been announced. But I don't know who else is going to be um, playing like other huge characters like Gilmore or mm. um, God anybody else who might turn up. Uh, Cassandra. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of the people from the Briarwood arc that would be turning up in this in the same Lady Briarwood. Don't know who's going to be playing her. Mm. Um, so I'm just very excited to be able to kind of push it at people and be like, "Here's the fucking best arc, one of the best arcs in Critical Role history." <laughs> it's so good. I can't wait to see Vax again. I always miss my boy, my little Raven boy. I'm wearing my my, my Vaxel down cloak right now. There you go. Nice. 
I've got, I've got actually, I'm actually literally within arm reach of some of my Kickstarter things, including these, which uh, yeah. they're less lore openers. No, but they're, they're nice so cool. knives. I was thrilled about this. Um, I haven't really taken them out much because I'm like, well, for one, I don't actually have need for a letter opener, but also they're so diddy. They are really, really they're nice like the size of my hand. Yeah, they're so cool. <laughs> they are very cool. Um, but yes, I'm so excited. They like said that they were coming out with it way sooner than we thought because it was going to be in February, and then they were like, it's end of January now. I think it was like nice. a week or two. Early. It was like a week earlier than than they mm-hmm. originally announced. So I'm just, I'm just very excited. Nice to see if anybody cares <laughs> when it comes out and, and um, like i want to get my friends to watch it because they will not watch the first thing <laughs> for <laughs> too long <laughs> which i understand but also oh i miss fox Machina. so this should be very fun for me yeah definitely i just hope it's good let's hope so sure i just really really hope it's good i mean like it's not i don't have um obviously the voice sounds are going to be amazing and uh i'm it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. I just, it's its one of those sort of like precious. <laughs> that's fair. That's, that's completely fair. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. We almost did it. <laughs> hey, I'm not, wait, like if we finish within the next, oh no, hang on a second. No. No. <laughs> no. It's still, it's an hour. It's, it's an fine. hour. It's an hour. We're going to get there, guys. We're going to get there. Uh, you can't rush these things. I'm sure the rev- reviews will be a bit uh quicker uh but anyway uh this was fun uh i think we might have a team for next week but um who knows uh until then enjoy this one and uh, we will see you very soon again have look after yourselves now. it's bad out there <laughs> <laughs> don't remind them <laughs> i do i will remind them go get boosted <laughs> oh yeah that yeah obviously we love you after yourself bye Love you well